God's good and He's awesome. And I love my Jesus. Even though I'm an alcoholic, you know what I remember always? He said, come as you are. Hey, this is Brant. Um, we're down here in Skid Row at night. Uh, kind of wanted to check out the community here at night. Um, a lot of the people you'll see are the folks that aren't lucky enough to get into the shelter, and even a lot of the people that do just kind of stay in the courtyards. Um, I don't know if you've ever thought about what it might be like to sleep out here at night, especially if you're not lucky enough to get a tent. Um, you're pretty much exposed, and tonight especially, it's cold. We've seen so many rats, and it's just, it's, it's weird. It's America, but it doesn't feel like it. And so, uh, basically, we just want to introduce you to a couple folks. Uh, maybe run into someone and talk to them and get their experience and, and what it is to be out here and see the needs and, you know, just see if there's anything we can do. So every night on Skid Row, hundreds of people set up tents to sleep in. And uh, that's where they make their home. The city lets you set up a tent from 6 o'clock at night to 6 a.m. in the morning. And I think it's great. It gives the residents of Skid Row a place to make their home for the night. And it's a lot safer to sleep in a tent than it is just to lay your head on the street. It keeps uh, rape down and uh, just gives you a place of safety. So we're coming up here on Joyce and our friend John, who we met tonight. And uh, we're really excited to share this night with them. It's like, it's like getting the keys to your first house um, <laughs> tonight. That's what it's like on the streets of Skid Row. So Joyce, we met about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago on the street, and I've just been able to pray for you and love on you uh, the last few days. Tell me what it's like to love Jesus but be on the streets of Skid Row at the same time. It's difficult, but I know that my God is there for me, and I'm never alone, and I love it, and I appreciate it, and we have our ups and downs. I've been through some difficult times, but I know God has brought me through it. What's it like? You're a woman on Skid Row. It's very hard for women. I know at Union Rescue, their main, whole main focus is women and children and getting women off the street. What's it like? to be a woman on the street, basically in a sea of guys every day. They talk uh, terrible things, and I tell them, no, no, no. But my prayer from day to night is that the Lord will watch, his, watch over me with his precious righteous right hand because the Lord has a powerful righteous right hand that no one could strike. And I say, Lord, just protect me that a man or a woman will not kill me because if you want me, Lord, I'm ready. It's, your, it's what you want. But I just pray most of all that I will not get raped, beat, and killed because if you want me lord you do it joyce you've been so honest with me the whole time i've known you and you i love seeing you because i see pure honesty you've told me you're an alcoholic and you struggle but at the same time you love the lord and you repent for your sin and i i love getting to pray with you and hang out with you because you're an encouragement to me and i think it's just it's awesome. Like when you said you needed a tent, we got you a tent because I, I know that it's safer for you to sleep. Yes. In a tent, in a tent at night. But uh, what, what can people do to help the people on Skid Row? We need more housing that we could afford. We need more um, social workers that we could tell them that we've been hurt. Yeah, we're going to be honest and good people. God's good and he's awesome. And I love my Jesus. Even though I'm an alcoholic, you know what I remember always? He said, come as you are. Because he accepts all of us. Because he's a forgiving True. God, a loving God, a God that always is with you. Every, you, you know, sometimes I felt so lonely. I kept thinking, 
God, I'm so alone. And then he touched me. He touched my shoulder like an angel and said, I am with you, child. And he knows my name. He knows every count of my hairs in my head. And I just love him so much. And he knows it. When, when I ran into you earlier today, this afternoon, you had a laminated card that has some scripture on it. What, what scripture in the Bible keeps you going every day? Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, said the Lord. Plan to give you hope in the future and not of evil. What are, what are your dreams? You know, so many people forget my that... Dream, uh, my dream is that God will take me away from here, but then I'm his servant because I have to be his servant. I asked him, Jesus... Use me in a way that we would not send people to hell because there is a heaven and a hell and people don't believe it, unfortunately. And that's what they have to realize that there is. So repent and invite Jesus into your heart like I do. You know who led me to my God? My me. daughter, Tina. I love her with all my heart. How can people who would see this video be praying for people on the streets of Skid Row? That, honestly, all you have to say is, Lord, just do and help the homeless. And maybe they can stop by and just say hello. You don't have to bring us nothing. Just your smile. Just a new friendship. Just to know, acknowledge us the way we acknowledge God each day. It's awesome. <laughs> I don't think I have any more, Joyce. You've done I just, awesome to share I your just, story. I just am thankful that you took the time to let us share to others that there's hope and a future in like Jeremiah 29 11 and there are many scriptures like Isaiah 40 31 Philippines Philippians Ephesians there are many all you have to do is read your book all you have to read is the word he has the, the sword, right? Mm -hmm. Is the word of God. That's the power we have. God gives you authority. You just don't know how to use it. So that's why we go to Bible study and church and get involved. All right, so you guys have seen the need, and this is the reality of the situation out here. It's tough. And honestly, the bottom line is we need your help. We need tents and we need sleeping bags. Um, these these people, you know, the only thing that'll that'll give them a little bit more hope is just something that seems permanent. And so, if you can click the link at the bottom and, and maybe just consider donating, it seems like you know it's not enough, but it, it it helps. It really does. And so, you know, tents, sleeping bags, anything you can give would be more than enough for these people, and you'll bless their lives more than you can imagine. And so, yeah. How he loves us all oh.